Hello and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a pan that palette update. I'm very excited about this update. I did make some good progress. I am panning the Bad Habit Artistry palette, which is the dupe for the Anastasia Mario palette. Unfortunately, this palette is not available anymore and neither is the Anastasia one, but I am really enjoying using it. I do have a whole Pan That Palette playlist and Project Pan playlist. I will link those in the description box if you want to catch up on any updates. And let's get into this update. Alrighty, let me start with showing you what my palette looked like at the end of last month. Alrighty, and this is what my palette looks like now. I'm pretty excited about this progress because this month I hit pan on two shades. I hit pan on Pearl and Siren. And I officially have pan on every color in this palette, which is so, so, so exciting. I did not finish any shades this month. I was hoping to maybe do that, but I didn't quite achieve that. However, the fact that I have pan on every color, finally, I'm very, very happy about that. I had already finished Aria at the last update. So far, that is the only eyeshadow I have completed. And now I think I really need to pick up the pace and start finishing more eyeshadows. The one that I'm probably the closest to finishing is this one here, Sophia. And I did work on that one a little bit this month, but I was not able to finish it. Um, and then the other one that I have quite a bit of pan on is the matte brown Tuscany. And then also this one here as well, that's called Daphne. So these three are the ones I have the most progress on. And then this matte shade also I have pretty good progress on. I am still using, there's a two matte shades left. There were only three to begin with and I finished one of them. The two that I have left, Mona and Tuscany, I've been mixing those on a daily basis to use in the outer corner. So I'm not using a ton of them, you know, as I would a crease shade. However, slowly but surely, I'm making progress on those. Therefore, I'm gonna continue to work on those two matte shades. And then I think I need to just pick one or two shades and really, really work on them. Hopefully I can finish them. So I think Sophia and Daphne would be the two that I would want to try to finish first, just because out of all of the shimmers, they're the ones that I do have the largest amount of pan on. You know, I think the most challenging ones are gonna be this corner over here. They are pretty dark shades. And how I have been using them to hit pan on them was I put a light amount on my lid and then I used one of these lighter shades on top. You know, they're not that dark or crazy, but I use this as a work palette, so I like to have my look be toned down, um, but that's been working quite well. So I'm just gonna continue to use that same method. And there's also a lot of these light champagne shades in this, cup, this palette. They're pretty redundant, actually. Now that I've been using this palette so much since the beginning of the year, I've realized you know, as far as Pearl, Sophia, Daphne, Dorsey, and Klimt, they are all very kind of light to medium champagne shades. It's pretty redundant actually, you know, but what are you gonna do? You know, like I said, I do still like this palette. You know, overall, it's definitely not the best palette in my collection, but you know, I'm still enjoying it. It's a nice formula, blends well. They're quite pigmented. Some of the metallic shades are more metallic than others whereas some are more shimmer like pearl that's more of a shimmer it's not super metallic but sophia and daphne and d'orsay those are actually um more metallic and foiled but overall still liking this palette i do think again this corner is going to be the most challenging to use up however i'm going to try my best i don't know that i can finish this i mean to finish this by the end of the year, I'd have to finish about two eyeshadows a month, um, which not sure that I could do that. But now that I have pan on all of them, it is possible. I gotta say, I'm, I'm feeling a little hopeful, actually. If I think about it, there are so many other ways that I could use this palette, you know, to use it up more quickly would be, I mean, I could use these matte shades all over the lid for a more smoky look. You know, that's definitely an option. Um, you know, and I could layer more of the shades together. There, you know, there's a lot of potential ideas that I could do. Um, I think I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing now. I'm usually using this palette three to four times a week. 
And I do use it in conjunction with other palettes because I did use up this shade that for me is kind of like a crease shade. So I definitely have to reach into other palettes. Also, there's no matte brow bone highlight, which is what I like. Therefore, you know, it's definitely not a complete palette for me, especially anymore now that I used up that shade Aria. However, I gotta say that's actually working out pretty well because if you watch my other Project Pants, I do have other palettes in Project Pants. I probably have five or six different other palettes in Project Pants right now where I'm either counting usage on them or I'm actually trying to hit pan. You know, therefore, I like that I kind of have to reach for other palettes when I use this because then I get usage on those other ones that are in projects. Alrighty, that is it for this update. I'm pretty excited about my progress. I'm so happy that I have pan on every shade and I do have one eyeshadow finished up. You know, I think I just got to start using up some of these eyeshadows and hopefully I could finish the palette. I mean, I think if I picked up the pace a little bit and if I could finish two shadows a month, you know, I think I could do it, which would be so awesome to have completed an entire palette because the last two years I did pan that palette if you were watching my channel. I was just trying to hit pan on as many shades in those palettes, but I was not trying to use them up. So this is the first year where I'm trying to completely use up a palette. Pretty exciting, I gotta say, I'm happy with my progress. That is it for this video. My Pan That Palette Project Pan playlists are going to be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching.